Hello everyone and welcome back to another video regarding the th cyber threat intelligence. Today we are going to talk about different levels of cyber threat intelligence that is used when you're implementing your cyber security program or your threat intelligence program. So without further delay, we'll just move to strategic, tactical, operational. These are the three levels of cyber threat intelligence. So we will take on one by one that what exactly the strategic, tactical, or operational th cyber threat intelligence, uh, the level of threat intelligence means. So basically, uh, just to summarize, the strategic intelligence is for the most senior decision makers. They are going to use this level of cyber uh, threat intelligence. The second level is the operational intelligence that is for making day-to-day -day decisions. They are looking at the campaigns, but the tactical intelligence is like focused on separate teams who need specific information for a specific uh, time. So let's talk about the strategic one. It's a very high level information about different cybersecurity events happening across the entire country, entire business landscape, and they, decision makers, they will think in terms of the money and the way their business has to move, the direction they want to take their business in. They will evaluate the impact of their decisions towards their business. So the main executive, so the main audience is going to be the executive management, it could be the chairman, it could be the board of governors, anybody who has the say in the business decisions of the organization. They do understand that there are different cybersecurity events happening in the world, but their main focus would be how those cybersecurity events are impacting the risk implications towards our organization and how can we manage those certain risks that are developing from the certain cybersecurity events. Now, different sources they can be using for these strategic decisions that they are going to take. It could be their newspapers, reports, threat reports that they are getting, or any white papers or any policy documents that they can issue for the uh, teams who are going to operate within their own operations. Second would be the operational cybersecurity level. Operational cyber threat intelligence level is all about the events, their attack techniques, what are the threat actors doing, any command and controls, vulnerabilities that are being exploited. Something that is related to the major campaigns that is that are happening within the cybersecurity events. There is an event that happened, okay, fine. But is, is it related to the campaign? And these level of this level of operational cyber threat intelligence can inform regarding the day-to-day -day decision making process. If they would allocate the resources, they would prioritize the tasks that what happens when they would do the trend analysis. Okay, this campaign was happening for a certain time of period. Is it associated with a certain threat actor? Is it associated with some specific aspect of the business? Which vertical of the uh, financial sector is it associated with? These kind of things and and these are like the directions in which the operational level of cyber threat intelligence is going to work. So they provide answers to certain questions like if there's a vulnerability that has been reported by a certain vendor, is it going to be exploited? Is it the POC of that particular exploit? Is it available or not? The third and the last one is the technical one. Tactical one. This is the one that is like the basic form of threat intelligence feed where you have the potential to immediately influence the decisions that you are going to take at the tactical level. So this type of data that is being used for the decision making at the tactical level is derived from the real time monitoring of your environment. It could be threat intelligence feeds, it could be your adversities, actions that they are taking, the malicious files or the code that they're using, these kind of things. For example, it could be IOCs, IPs, domains, hashes, 
these are all basic form of threat intelligence fields and they come under the umbrella of the tactical level threat intelligence. Who is going to use it? This is the SOC, team members, network security administrators, or the security architects. So they, these are the things that can be used to improve the detection capabilities of the organization by deploying those um, artifacts that you are collecting from your threat intelligence feeds or within your own environment to develop use cases within your security tools that you are using to defend your organization. So one more time, the strategic is for the high level decision making bodies, operational is for the campaigns, for the middle manager, they are like looking at the broader picture uh, in, in terms of how they want their busy business to go uh, in light of the strategy that has been given to, the, uh, to them. The tactical is like day-to-day -day operations, very basic level, this IP, this IOC, this threat actor is working on it. How are we going to defend ourselves against that? I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video.